All right, so let's talk about ABC costing. In the past, for GAAP and for external purposes, um, we would assign manufacturing costs to the product and then expense those as the product is sold. But in ABC costing, the manager can get different information. This um, would, these records would be kept alongside the other ones in addition to and just used for internal purposes. So in ABC costing, it's going to differ from the traditional cost accounting in three different ways. Um, most but all, not all manufacturing costs will be assigned to the product. Also, some non-manufacturing costs will be assigned to the product. Now, it's important to realize that direct materials and direct labor will still go to the product. They will be traced to the product just as they always have been. So what we're talking about now are just overhead costs and how to assign those. To okay, so again, what we're talking about here is the fact that direct, direct materials, direct labor, and shipping costs are going to be allocated directly because they can be traced to the product. So now we're talking about the overhead costs. We're going to get those overhead costs from the general ledger or in the book they'll be given to us. Then we're going to do the first stage allocation. That's where we ask our employees how much time is spent on each activity. All right, then next we're going to look at the second stage allocation, and that's where we're going to take the dollar amount divided by the activity. So it may be per order, it may be per design change, it could be per machine hour or per customer or any other thing that the manager decides is um, a good way to measure it. So then under other, that will always be unallocated. So if you see other, that'll be unallocated. It will not go directly to the product. Okay. Now let's look at this example. We have overhead costs of $1,810,000. That would be taken from the general ledger or in the book that would be given to you as the overhead costs that the company wishes to assign to the product. So in the first stage allocation, they will be asking their employees what percentage of time or um, however they'd like to ask the question is spent on each activity. So if you notice, customer orders, product design, order size, customer relations, and other, you add those amounts together and you'll get $1,810,000. That means that they just took that amount and um, multiplied it by the percentage of time that was spent on each of these activities to allocate it to the first stage allocations. All right, under second stage allocations, you are going to divide the cost by the total activity that was given. So for customer orders, they had a thousand orders. So if you take $320,000 divided by a thousand, then you find out that the activity rate is $320. So in other words, $320 per um, order. Product design, they had 400 different designs. The total cost was $252,000. So if you divide, you get $630 per product design, and so on and so forth. At this point, you are ready to allocate that overhead to a specific product. So you will be told that, for example, product A, there are 600 customer orders. So you'll take the $320 per customer order times 600, and you'll allocate the overhead at $192,000. They did not have any design, so that number will be zero. Machine hours, they had 17,500. So you'll multiply that by the order size and get 332,500. This means that the total overhead to be applied to product A is a sum of 524.5. You'll do the same thing with product B, or whatever product you're given, and that will be 427.5. So that's, the, uh, that's how you apply the overhead to those products. All right, next we're going to come down here and we're going to look at product margin. So when you're ready to look at product margin, you're going to look at your total sales for that product. This top one is, this one right here is A. And then you're going to take the direct materials that are directly traced to that product that will be given to you, 9055, direct labor, again, traced, given to you, 263750, shipping, again, traced, so it will be given to you, 60000 Now we're ready to put in our overhead that we applied, 192 for customer orders right here, 0 for product design for product A, 332.5 for this one. We'll get a total cost by adding up direct material, direct labor, shipping, and the overhead costs. 1753750. Sales minus that equals 906,250. That's your ABC product margin. All right, the same thing happens for B. We had, we're given that sales are 540,000, or you may be given the, um, the sale price times the quantity, and you can get 540. And then direct materials, direct labor, and shipping will be given to you and directly traced. So you'll just take that number. And then um, the overhead here comes from right up here. 
and total cost, subtract, and it appears that we had a negative margin, which would um, warrant some further looking into from the manager.